Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the 1985. This is the Australian version of Windcharger known as Robocar Camaro. So in this video I'm going to show you hopefully in both of his modes. I might have a go at transforming him for you. I'm going to give you a little bit of a description or explanation of why of course he's called Robocar Camaro and not Windcharger which of course we've got to do a comparison of. We can also see the other crazy colour scheme that was released of him in Argentina and of course we can see how he looks and fares to some figures that have been released uh, today and as I'm lucky enough to have one in the packaging we can have a look at that as well. So um, these figures are what's referred to as quite obviously as the South American Minibots. If you've not heard much about these before they are a crazy bunch of colour schemed figures using official Transformers moulds um, and again licensed by Transformers, um, Hasbro rather, um, but they just made the craziest, craziest colour schemes. Now the first thing that you'll notice with this if you have it in hand is just how flimsy this card is. It's incredibly thin, it's literally just like a teeny piece of cardboard, it's not glossy, there's no sheen to it um, and as you can see he's just called Robocar Camaro. Um, there is the Antex label and this one funnily enough never made it into a shelf because it wasn't punched at all. This came out in 1985 and as you can see there it's saying it's from Argentina. So they come packaged in their robot modes. Um, there is I suppose some rarer white versions of this looks like tailgate but I think they're Estrella only. Again please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong I'm still learning as much about these um, as most people. So yeah they basically as you can see just use some crazy colour schemes um, and call them by different names but this was 1985 release um, and as I say everything is the you know it's the official moulds it's all used but it's just they weren't made very well at all uh, what I mean by that is I'm going to very sort of carefully try and transform him and we'll see if he stands and the other thing is Funnily enough, I've got the blue one here and I've tried to transform him, but he just doesn't stand at all. He's got these huge gaps in between his legs and even in sealed copies of these that are unopened, there is most of the ones I've seen all have the legs physically just hanging off, which is crazy. Now, obviously, we can see, unfortunately, that mine is missing the sticker that was on the front. But these stickers were notoriously, you know, they just fell off really, really easy. Is he going to balance for me? just about so i need to push him back where you can sort of see there he is next to the standard wind charge just completely different paint schemes and plastics um just fun as i say these have become really quite sort of scarce and indeed quite sought after due to exactly that the craziness of them the crazy color color scheme that they are um if you want to sort of know how big he is compared to sort of today's sort of standard figures He's nowhere near as big as a core class. Um, and indeed, funnily enough, I've got, I suppose, a MicroMaster or I've got Jolt from the new um, Armada Hotshot figure. So he's not much bigger than them. The mini bots from G1 were quite small. Indeed, you know, pocket money toys. Um, and there's not really much more to say about him. I just wanted to, I suppose, showcase this very uh, special version of him i'm looking to do a lot more of these now i've managed to get a bit of a collection going so i can show you more of the crazy color schemes as well um, as the originals and how different they do look from the original you'll notice that they hardly piece together um they come apart so so easy i can't believe i've just transformed him to be fair i probably won't do that ever again um no it's not even going to click together you can see that right there there's the original there's the Argentinian version. Let me know what you think of it in the comments, guys. Take care.